this is my makeup for VidCon day one. I am actually really surprised because I haven't put on liquid liner in like a month and it looks good. I'm really excited. Like this is what I'm wearing. It's a cute dress. I just got it at H&M and my hair as usual is being uncooperative so I've just straightened it and put it up. I obviously have not had any coffee or much water yet, so I'm like, oh. um, but I'm hopefully, I don't know if I have time, I'm hoping to go down to Starbucks and grab a drink to take in to the panel, but that starts in half an hour and now I need to go, so, see ya! <laughs> struggling, but they haven't told anyone because they're embarrassed. They don't want to be seen as some sad person, they don't want to be treated differently. A simple recipe of one way is all it takes. Let's get people with mental health issues in the ocean. And I came back to Sydney from New Zealand and me and a buddy Sam, he was a surf instructor, um, we got together and we launched one way. Get people asking questions, so I'm not just going to surf in a normal wetsuit, so this is what I come up with. I don't want you to be no slave. <laughs> you okay, Louise? You're looking at your bananas. And then there was like two dudes sitting in the surf crying. Because it's something that had been hiding for so long, so I thought, if 
All it takes is me dressing up in funny shit every Friday morning at 6 30 in the morning. That's what I'm going to do until I die to raise awareness for mental health. I've also seen the huge joy in people's life when they actually come to terms with the fact that, yeah, I've got a mental health issue, but it's not a part of me, it's just something I'm experiencing. Now, this is a shot from the second birthday, and this is 800 people lying across Bondi Beach, where the first ever flu of Friday was born. Alright. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Just like fun videos to, to play around with editing and then beauty videos because I, I wanted to, because I'm beautiful and I wanted to be, to show off that to the world. I sort of did think I'd be here in a, in a sense that when I, um, sound, make, sound like a prick for me. Because <laughs> I started making things when I was 14, I think there's a degree of a lack of awareness when you're 14, so I, I, I honestly didn't know anything about anything. The future was not a concept at all. Uh, and they failed because I was about 15, so at the age of 15, I, I just couldn't get a... F like a like I'm not even talking about a short film, I'm talking a film. And I was stupid to try, but if I didn't try, I wouldn't have learned that that doesn't work, and then I wouldn't have made sketches. And by making sketches, I was able to kind of hone my craft and kind of work out how to tell a story um, in like four or five minutes. When I was in university, YouTube was like the place that I would like watch videos of people falling off of things. Like I was really into wipeout videos for some reason, which was some strange things about me. I never imagined that like my filmmaking world and my YouTube world would collide ever. Like I remember when New Form Digital, like when it was announced, I was like, whoa, like, this is this is how it's gonna be now. I probably would have told you back then that I just wanted to express myself and I wanted to be creative and I wanted to, you know, make these pieces. But I think I just really wanted attention. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I still do, so here we are. And um, I would encourage um, younger filmmakers to not look at, you know, these projects by people who have been doing it for so long and think that you need to be there now or that you need to know how to get there, but just to take where you are and really work hard at getting one step farther. I mean, I definitely think men are seen for what they bring to the table. So if their channel is comedy, people will comment on comedy. Or if their channel is about science, they will ask them questions about science. And with women, it doesn't matter what you are talking about, you are always your face, you are always your body, you are always reduced to something that is completely irrelevant to your content. Really, all I did was count the posts on YouTube's Twitter handle in the month of February, which is Black History Month, and less than, I think, 5% of them were people of color, and they were all famous. Like, imagine that you're seeing, you know, the biggest white, mostly male YouTubers, and then you're a person of color, and the only person they're supporting is Drake or Beyonce. It's very discouraging. And I try to make content for a 16-year-old me, because it wasn't on traditional media, and I think the more people who do it, the better, the better the site will be, the better the world will be. And I think that Asians have had a lot of success on YouTube because we are the best fans. We will love you so hard when we love you. And to be able to see our own face on the internet has been such a privilege and, and such a joy and, and makes me so excited. Um, I do want to encourage anyone who is an Asian female or male, to create your content, because I've noticed with a lot of my fans, it's like, I want to make a video, but I never will, because it's terrifying. And, you know, the, the more we get out there, the more we make, the more of each other we'll see, and the more common it'll become. You know, I put up the tickets and it sold out in a week, and um, that show changed my life, and I realized that YouTube does translate to kind of whatever you want it to, whatever you want to be, it can be. You put you know, one of my tracks done. I was hoping you would ask. This is great. We, we just had a big collab here. I think I need some VO. Alright, so we've got a VO artist over here. I'll do the cover. We're going to get Charlie to do the um, DJI Justine. DJI Justine. <laughs> Alright, let's do the cover. Honestly, like, this is how YouTube can collab sort of happen. I mean, I also do music. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Like he 
said, put the air horn on there. Yeah, put the air horn. be like, no, 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 and then half an hour later another one would start so you kind of want to get there 15 minutes before the panel to get a good seat so literally had no time all day um it was really cool though like i think the creator track was such a brilliant idea creator panels were based around like advice and just like community discussion which was really really cool um yeah i'm too really tired to think much about it. I was like, oh, I'll say this at the end, I'll say this and I'll say this, but I can't remember. My phone is, my uh, camera is about to run out of battery.